Okay, so we've got um, two people on the left. We've got person A and person B. Person A, their tidal volume goes like this. So that is their tidal volume pattern. Okay, and person B, which is this one, their tidal volume pattern goes like this. Okay, so my question to you now is, out of the two people you have just seen breathing there, first question, if you were to look and analyse those two tidal volumes, which individual would you say is healthier? A, this one here, or B? Okay, so your answer should be the healthier person you would expect to be A. And the reason being, because their tidal volume is quite consistent. Whereas person B's tidal volume is quite deep, so they're obviously breathing a lot heavier and that basically means that their body is needing oxygen in order for their body to function so in an instance of an example you would see somebody who smokes may have a quite deep tidal volume like the one on on the right this person here B because their tidal volume is deeper second question could be out of the two which person is exercising is it person A or person B? Or I'll rephrase that question. Which person is exercising to a, a greater intensity? So again, looking at the two um, spirometers, you should have said that the person exercising to a greater intensity is B again because of their tidal volume being deeper. All right. And the third question... <coughs> Okay, the third question which you are going to look at now is the two spirometers, which sports or activities would you say each person is doing? So, as I said, we've got A and B. So, looking at two spirometers with the tidal volumes, what activities are they doing? Okay, so again, looking at the two spirometers, you should have recognised that B is doing activities such as running, okay, or cycling, where their breathing rate is deeper, okay, and A is obviously doing something a little bit more of a low intensity, so something like walking or even playing golf or something like, like that. So something of a lower intensity, walking, playing golf, or, or, or a steady state cycle. Okay, so by just looking at the two spirometers, you can see there how certain certain traces show certain patterns of what is happening. And it can you can identify and you can understand the mechanics of breathing from it. Okay, so we're now just going to um, analyze a basic spirometer. Now, if I was to look at this spirometer now what I will be able to say is that the tidal volume is quite consistent so basically what this person is doing here is breathing at a normal rate so he's inhaling and exhaling and the reason I know that is because if I was to look at the depth of breathing the depth of breathing there is consistent. Now, if another slide, and I do exactly the same as I've just done, I can then show you in this situation here, this person is breathing, but their depth of breathing is getting deeper and then it's coming back 
to their regular breathing pattern. So, question two. What could have caused that? 